fixing it. Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And whatever you do, don't hit the tank. Please, man. I think someone's coming. Shit. He sees me. He sees me, Trevor. He knows I'm here. A bolt from the blue. Can you hear that? Chopper, incoming! Always hated that chopper. Just fucking drive, you're bikers. It's looking for us, T. We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority. If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here. Try and hit the pilot when he's settled. They might think he crashed. Might they? They might.
where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or their other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, well, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure I was. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained air force. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at barn. Will a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Rod. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the... Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T.
successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. Cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? I think that was adequate rest. You piece of shit!
You sure as shit are one dumb hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a rely. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Yeah, we will be Fang Sung Isha. The fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. <gasps> Perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. Shit, shit, shit! You fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, Bella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, all of us! Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. You're a fool, you're a fine fucking fool. Many brothers you got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. You got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you.
Fuck me! Fuck me! It's Philip! for you get your own fucking business on, fucking get him he's in crap he's heading for the basement you ain't getting it to lab keep him out of the lab fucking O'Neill's yeah, fuck you, dealer man! You don't want to come in here, Trevor! Fuck Trevor Phillips, man! Fuck him! It's over! Hey, back! To your fucking trailer! Son of a bitch! You get out this... Property. How about a merger, you pricks? Get that motherfucker out the house! Yeah! Take over time! You gonna be buried in this basement. Hey, fuck you! Go home! Let's see if we can't cut you down to size. You piece of shit! He found the cook site! Don't come any closer, all right? in a meth lab. Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots. Come on, come on. Everything you've built, see how it feels. You disrespectful pricks!
Get back here! You know, have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Um, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? in Los Santos. It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Camp's up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again. with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Wait here. Don't get killed. Don't. Be long.
freaking Santos. That go okay? I heard back a banging and screaming. Like I'm not knocking that guy. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to. Are we not going to Los Santos no more? Ah! Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything. I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, 
Don't turn me into anything! I just want to be way. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, I'm not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, smartest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you... I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. But Trevor! Hey! Aww. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! That hurt my neck! Whoa, Trevor! Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? 
You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Floyd ain't around here. What are you doing? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story? About that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met ah! Woo-hoo! Again! Again! Oh, Lord! Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could... Ow! Ah! So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on the iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Can you give me some warning next time? Ugh. You don't turn here. It's Jay here. What's good? This is the place. I think it is, at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck. Okay. Ah.
Ah, oh, fuck is this shit. Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. You know, I can handle this myself. Let's we'll say we grab a beer in a few hours. <laughs> Shit! Catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey. Fuck you. Yeah. You're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. You'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor mother. Fucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, yeah, it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf leagues, all the pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? We got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. Hurry it up, man! Gotta be it. Maze Bank. Let's go in. Come on, come on, come on! These spaces are reserved for oh, done with this fucking business. What should pathetic prima donna? <laughs> come on, you Sir, dipshit. Did you wait? Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really... All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. <laughs> Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Go yeah, home so right terrific. now, Tracy. Hey, where are you running off the to? Worst, as usual. Oh. Ah, they towed us. We got to take the truck. There! We take the truck! I got a deposit on that truck! We're running that prick down. Look! He went left!
Let's get that trick. We gotta go to the left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now thank you for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig! We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a racer. He took a left! Look at him! He's on the train tracks! We can have a little fun with him. We can have a little fun with him. 